engineers that are specifying low water cement ratios are specifying problems, but it's not their fault. It's an industry that has indoctrinated them wrongfully. It's an industry that has said, hey, we can sell more admixtures if we get a lower water cement ratio. What's the difference of a 0.38 water cement ratio and it calls for a design of 4,000 or if I pour a water cement ratio at 0.45 and get the same number? Still 4,000 PSI. Oh, but we're gonna go back through and we're gonna go through all the white papers and we wanna close the gap of the cement particles and make it stronger, more dense and permeable. Really? That's a lab. How the crap you know that's that way out in the real world? You don't. You have no idea because in your lab, you have perfect outlined parameters that you don't have to worry about. Well, when I go out to take that concrete to place it in my lab, which is, oh, sun. What's the UV rays that day? What's the humidity? What's the wind? Is it gonna be cloudy? How many thermal changes is this gonna go through in the next three hours? Yeah. Yeah, I'll trust the guy out in the field before I trust you guys in, in these labs. That's our problem. We've got away from trusting the guy that knows what he's doing and we've took the people inside of a perfect climate as the gospel.